Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Hubert's TVB drama ending song, okay? For the drama called in Chinese, it's called Mok Hao Wan Ga. Okay, so repeat with me. I'm joking. You don't have to repeat the Chinese with me. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn how to play the most awesome part of the song, which is the chorus. It goes like this. Okay, I'll give you a preview before we start learning this. Okay, it goes like this. Awesome, kind of like a kind of like jazzy kind of feel to it. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's right hand first. The first part, right hand goes B flat. Okay, middle C C O. We start on the B flat there. It goes B flat C D, and then it goes up to F, E flat F, E flat F, and then it goes again F, E flat F, E flat F. That's the first part. Okay, for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes B flat C D. F, E flat F, E flat F, and again F, E flat F, E flat F, like that for the right hand for the first part, okay? So, now the left hand, the first part goes like this, okay? There's two chords here, the two chords is as followed, it goes E flat minor, E flat, G flat, B flat, and the second chord is pretty much E flat minor with a D bass, so just move that E flat down to the D and everything on the other two notes above is the same, just like that. It's easy like that, okay? So those are two chords. Let's do it again. E flat minor, and followed by E flat minor with D bass, like that. Pretty awesome, okay? Let's do the two hands together now for this first part of the chorus, okay? So right hands first, so the B flat, C, D on an F, E flat minor together. And then the next F and the uh, D bass together. Like that. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes together. Together. That's the first part, okay, for the chorus. Let's move on now, the second part of the chorus. Right hand goes F, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, down to B flat. Okay, so that's the um, second part. Let's do it again. So it goes F, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, B flat. And you hold the B flat, just like that. That's the second part. Okay, left hand for the second part. The chords are, okay, remember we just went to the E flat minor with the D bass. After that, we just moved to the E flat minor with D flat bass. So it just goes like this. See, pretty easy. D flat, G flat, B flat. And then the next one is easy as well. Pretty much E flat minor with a C bass. So you just C, G flat, B flat, like that. All you need to do is move the like lowest pit, uh, finger for the first line, the left hand, down like half a step every time. Okay, so those are the two chords. So E flat minor with D flat bass. This is also known as G flat major second inversion if you want to get technical. But anyway, it's easy to remember that way because all you have to remember the E flat minor goes down by semitones on the lowest note. Okay, after that, just go down one more semitone. So E flat minor with C bass, okay? Or this is, in, if you want to do really technical, it's like E, C, half diminished if you want to say yeah but anyway so one last time for the chords it's just this chord of the d flat bass and then this chord of the c bass okay. with that in mind let's put the turn together for the second part so um f and the d flat bass together b flat and the c bass together yeah like that let's do it again so it goes together together one two three like that Okay, I forgot to tell you, in this whole song, kind of always feel the triple feel, like the waltz feel. It's like, da da da, one, like that, one, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, always feel that. chords for now always press um and count to three okay so that's it for the second part so the second part just together one two three okay now moving on to the third part we got a bit sidetracked but it's all right just remember all those tips and you get the song really good okay the third part goes like this right hand goes b flat d flat b and then down to the e flat up to the b and then b flat a and then b flat that's the third part Okay, let's do it again. So it goes B flat, D flat, B, E flat, B, 
B flat, A, B flat. Just like that. That's the third part for the right hand. Left hand, we have A flat minor, which is A flat, B, and E flat. And then we have B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Okay, with those two chords in mind, A flat minor and B flat major, let's put the two hands together for this third part that goes like this. B flat and then D flat and A flat minor chord together. B flat and B flat major chord together. Two, three, just like that. Okay, one more time for this third part, so just together. Together, two, three, like that. Okay, now of the third part, moving on to the fourth part. The fourth part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So, really awesome. So, with that in mind, the fourth part, exactly the same as the first part, let's do it. Together, together, just like that. Okay, so that's the fourth part, let's do it again. Together, together, like that, that's the fourth part. Okay, now, the fifth part, is nearly exactly the same as the second part, but just the right hand last note is different. So check it out. It's the first half of it is the same. It's like together. Instead of going down the B flat here, we go up to the G flat up here and with the chord together. So that's the only thing that's different. The right hand, the last note is G flat instead of B flat. Okay, one more time for this fifth part. So just together. Together. But all the chords and stuff is the same as the respective parts earlier, except for the right hand there. Okay, so that's it for the fifth part. Now, uh, the last part, right hand goes like this. The sixth and the last part goes like this. B flat, D, B, and then B, B flat, B flat. I mean the other way around. And then A flat, B flat, and then two B flats. And then A flat, F, and then G flat, F, E flat. That's the sixth and last part. There's a little, more notes here, but just kind of remember the notes separately and you get it, okay? So let's do it again. So it goes B flat, D flat, B, and then B flat, B, B flat, A flat, B flat, and then two B flats, A flat, F, and then G flat, F, and then E flat, like that. One last time because many notes and I kind of stuffed up on the first say of it. So it goes B flat, D flat, B, two B, and not two B flats, it's B flat, and then B, B flat, A flat, B flat, and then B flat, B flat, A flat, F, G flat, F, and then E flat. So kind of a lot of like different B and B flats here. Don't mix it up or else you kind of get like the wrong accidentals, okay? But anyway, let's go and tell you the left hand for this last part. It's A flat minor, A flat G, B flat. It does say A flat G, B flat, what am I talking about? I'm like really off today, okay? So A flat, B, and E flat, okay? That's what I meant to say. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? So A flat minor, which is A flat, B, and E flat, followed by E flat, not E flat major, B flat major, B flat D and F. I'm so sorry, don't know what I'm doing right right now. It's just like out of my mind a little bit. But and then after that goes E flat minor, E flat G flat B flat. Okay, so those are the three chords for the sixth and last part. Okay, one more time because I messed up so badly like just then. So it's A flat minor the chords, followed by B flat major, and followed by E flat minor, just like that. One more time because I stuffed up before. A flat minor, B flat major, E flat minor. And that is the sixth and last part of the chorus with the left hand, okay? So putting two hands together goes like this. Uh, right hand starts on the B flat and then D flat and A flat minor chord together. B flat and B flat major chord together. And then F and E flat minor chord together. Like that. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. Let's go. Together, two, three. Together. Like that. And that's it. So remember my tip I told you to uh, count in threes the whole way. The reason why, because when I show you the preview at the start of the lesson, I do the ooh, which is like one, two, three. Like that. So it's like one on the lowest note, and then the highest two notes together count for two beats. Two, three. Like that. And then one, two, three. One. Mash up with the left hand, so it's like together.
that's it, okay? If you get a bit confused of that umpa, you can just do umpa pa. So it's like one, two, three, one note on each count, which is more, it's like easier, okay? So go. waltz kind of feel so enjoy learning this song I guess try to practice this um papa because it's pretty useful a lot of like waltz songs has this pattern um papa or um pa and then hold it which is good for practicing your counting and rhythm for these triple songs because not very often that we come across a triple song most songs are like four four like or two four so like yeah this is pretty good practice for you to practice a kind of triple time song a waltz time song so yeah but check out my cover for the full song of this uh, yeah I did a cover of this I keep saying so yeah I don't know why and yeah so check it out and I check out my other TVB's uh, piano cover songs I've done heaps of them and yeah as for now check out my other tutorials as well I have many of them for you to learn I have thousand piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from but anyway as for now enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time before I start getting out of my mind again okay so see ya Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world including this one in this video within 10-20 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership. Or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.